Joiners in looking back at the journey of the actors from the classic movie Cheers, faces that have brought laughter and deep emotion to millions of viewers. Even though they have left us, their talent and memorable roles remain forever in the hearts of the audience. This article will reveal their touching life stories, memorable moments on set, and the legacy they left behind. Don't miss the opportunity to pay tribute and remember the stars who created the eternal appeal of Cheers. Kirstie Alia played Rebecca Howe in 1987 when she was 36. Rebecca Howe is a complex and emotional character, the new manager of the Cheers bar, after Sam Malone sold the bar to a large corporation. She initially appears as a confident and assertive businesswoman, but gradually becomes nervous and vulnerable when faced with challenges in her work and personal life. Kirstie Alley brought charm and depth to the character, making Rebecca one of the most beloved characters in the series. For this role, Ali won an Emmy and Golden Globe in 1991. She passed away on December 5, 2022, at the age of 71, after a short battle with cancer. He is undoubtedly here to ask me some humiliating, menial favor that he couldn't palm off on some other flunky. You know, today I draw the line. To dine, that Evan should repeatedly dine at Melville's right upstairs from where I can be found every day of the week. No, no, but I do find it interesting that your buttons are. King Curtis played John Allen Hill, owner of the Melville's restaurant, located above Cheers Bar, in 1990 when he was 67 years old. John Allen Hill is a difficult character and often clashed with Sam Malone over bar and restaurant issues. With an arrogant and assertive personality, Hill always creates humorous and tense situations in the series. King Curtis gave the character dignity and humor that made John Allen Hill one of the most memorable supporting characters on Cheers. He passed away on October 13, 2002 at 79 due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. All I have on my mind, there are other facets to my personality. Eight weeks? <laughs> well, anyway, look, I... Your presence. <laughs> so, have you decided what color you're gonna dye your head for Easter? Why don't you just scuttle under the author? Harry Anderson played Harry the Hat Kiddis on Cheers in 1982 when he was 30 years old. Harry the Hat Kiddis is a clever and cunning conman who regularly appears at Cheers Bar to carry out his scams. With a mysterious and mischievous personality, Harry always brings funny and sad situations to everyone around him. Harry Anderson portrayed the character with grace and talent, making Harry the Hat one of the most memorable guest characters in the series. In addition to Cheers, Anderson is also famous for his roles in Night Court and Dave's World. He passed away on April 16, 2018, at 65, due to complications from a fall. Expecting a friend. A friend? Yeah, yeah, he asked me to order it for him. <laughs> he did, he did. In fact, he, uh, he, uh, he, he wrote it down. Uh, one beer. Now, wait. <laughs> Get out of my bar, Harry, come on. Wait a minute, school, wait school. a minute, you owe me ten bucks. What is this, a clip joint? I'm sorry, here, now go on. You know, Sam, you know, you got the wrong idea. Philip Berman played Phil in 1986 when he was 67 years old. Philip Berman is a famous supporting actor, often appearing in small but memorable roles. In Cheers, he played Phil, a regular bar customer. Phil is a cheerful and friendly character, always bringing laughter to everyone around him. Philip Berman brought an authenticity and charm to the character, making Phil an indispensable part of the Cheers bar. In real life, Philip Berman is the father of the actress Ray Berman, who played Carla Tatelli on Cheers. He passed away on April 29, 2015 at 95, after a life full of achievements and dedication to the art. Yeah, this blanket ought to keep the smoke away from the customers. Good idea, Sammy. More for us. <laughs> Guys, I gotta be honest with you. I was just trying to hustle you out there. I do know how to play poker. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I guess we do. <laughs> Why don't you sit down, Woodrow? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Take it easy on me. Okay. Max Wright played Jim Flaner on Cheers in 1986 when he was 43. Jim Flaner is a complex and mysterious character, often caught up in dangerous and difficult situations. Max Wright brought a flair and edginess to the character, making Jim Flaner one of the most memorable guest characters on the series. In addition to Cheers, Max Wright was also famous for his roles as Tally Winner on ALF and Terry on Friends. He passed away on June 26, 2019 at 75 after a long battle with cancer. Rachel, sweetheart, could I see you for a minute? What's up? I, I've decided to pay a professional musician to play in here on Sunday afternoons. Her name is Stephanie something. I, uh, she's supposed to be very good. Nicholas Colasenzo had played only coach Pantuso on Cheers in 1982 when he was 58. Coach is a lovable and likable character who was Sam Malone's former baseball coach and later became a bartender at the Cheers bar. 
coach is famous for his naive and easily confused personality, but always brings warmth and humor to everyone around him. Nicholas Colasanto brought an authenticity and emotion to the character, making coach one of the most beloved characters in the series. Sadly, Colasanto passed away on February 12, 1985, at 61, due to complications from heart disease. Did you see, you see the lady there in the green dress? Yeah. I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> You're gonna marry? I'm gonna marry you. What? <laughs> my name's Irene Blanchard, and this is my daughter, Sue Blanchard. Ah, oh. hi, how are you? Uh, hi. Sue? Pleasure. How can you do Irene. it? Jay Thomas played Eddie LeBac on Cheers in 1987 when he was 39. Eddie LeBac is a Canadian hockey goaltender, known for his cheerful and optimistic personality. Eddie becomes Carla Totelli's husband, and their relationship brings many humors and touching situations to the series. Jay Thomas brought charm and humor to the character that made Eddie one of the most beloved characters on the screen. However, this character was unexpectedly killed when he was run over by Zamboni. In addition to Cheers, Jay Thomas is also famous for his roles in Murphy Brown and Love and War. He passed on August 24, 2017 at 69 after a long battle with cancer. Everything. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know who that is? Hi there. Uh, could I have a glass of club soda, no ice, two slices of lime and a red straw please? Eric Christmas played Father Barry on Cheers in 1988 when he was 72. Father Barry was a wise and respected priest who was often sought out by the characters in the Cheers bar for advice. With a calm and majestic personality, Father Barry always brings comfort and guidance to those around him. Eric Christmas brought an authenticity and warmth to the character, making Father Barry one of the most beloved supporting characters on the series. In addition to Cheers, Eric Christmas is also famous for his roles in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and Changeling. He passed away on July 22, 2000, at 84, after a life full of achievement and dedication to the arts. <laughs> Sam, I'd like you to meet Mr. Weaver. He's over 106 years old. Really? Well, you don't look it, I guess. Matt, pinch me again and you won't live to 107. <laughs> Wait. You shut up! Roger Rees played Robin Cocourt in 1989 when he was 45. Robin Cocourt is a wealthy and charming businessman, but also full of intrigue and cunning. Robin becomes Rebecca Howe's lover, but their relationship is tumultuous due to Robin's greedy and deceitful personality. Roger Rees gave the character charm and complexity that made Robin one of the most memorable villains in the series. In addition to Cheers, Rees is also famous for his roles at Lord John Marbury and the West Wing. He passed away on July 10, 2015 at 71 after a long battle with stomach cancer. That's our big opponent. No, 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 please come in. Sam and I can resume negotiations momentarily. Yes, I'll just take a few minutes. You know Robin Colcourt? Oh, I don't believe they got to you. Oh, well, I have a male secretary who uh, likes the pictures of yourself you enclose, and I appreciate your business sense. Really? Oh, yes, Howard was especially enamored of the... Uh, Frances John Higgin played Esther Claven, Cliff Claven's mother, in 1986 when she was 56. Esther Claven is a lovely and humorous character, always bringing laughter to everyone around her. She is a protective and loving mother to her son, but is also not afraid to criticize and satirize Cliff when necessary. Frances Sternhagen brought warmth and authenticity to this character, making Esther one of the most beloved supporting characters in the series. In addition to Cheers, Sternhagen is also famous for roles in Sex and the CD and ER. She passed away on November 27, 2023 at 93, after a life full of achievement and dedication to the arts. Thank you. For what? Well, I know Clifford doesn't have many friends. I remember that surprise birthday party I organized for him, and you were the only one who. Michael Curry played Mr. Sheridan in Cheers in 1989 when he was 61. Mr. Sheridan is a wealthy and powerful businessman, the owner of the Melville's restaurant, located above the Cheers bar. With an arrogant and decisive personality, Mr. Sheridan often creates tense and humorous situations in the series. Michael Curry gave this character a dignity and humor that made Mr. Sheridan one of the most memorable supporting characters on Cheers. In addition to Cheers, Michael Curry is famous for his roles in Sudden Impact and Deadpool. He passed away on December 22, 2009 at 81, after a life full of achievements and dedication to the arts. The accidental damage to a television. Oh, uh, there was nothing accidental about it, Captain. Well, I think the department might have something else to say about that. Well, 
Hugh McGuire played Hugh, a regular customer of the Cheers bar. In 1987, when he was 54, Hugh is a cheerful and friendly character, always bringing laughter to everyone around him. With his likable and humorous personality, he has become an indispensable part of the Cheers bar. Hugh McGuire portrayed the character with authenticity and charm, making Hugh one of the most beloved supporting characters in the series. He passed away on May 18, 2023 at 90 years old, after a life full of achievement and dedication to the arts. Let's go, come on, start moving now, people, let's go. The boss wants us out of the building, so let's make it happen. Yeah. Herb Mitchell played Mort Sherwin in 1983 when he was 46. Mort Sherwin is a close friend of Sam Malone and often appears at the Cheers bar. With a cheerful and friendly personality, Mort always brings laughter and comfort to everyone around him. Herb Mitchell portrayed the character with charm and humor, making Mort Sherwin an integral part of the Cheers bar. In addition to Cheers, Herb Mitchell is also famous for his roles in Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shocked Me, and Inner Space. He passed away on January 4, 2011 at 73 after a long battle with illness. But I got some of these uh, decaf packets. Mm -hmm. I've trained myself off it entirely. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, uh, I don't need nothing. To what do you think about the departure of the actors from Cheers? And who do you miss the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future content updates. Thank you.